What's up, everybody? It's another hip hop today with me, Canary Balance, man. All right, let's get straight into some topics, guys. We're gonna start with, of course, something to do with Drake. Kind of Drake month, right? So Big Daddy Kane blames Drake fans for ruining hip hop battles. Let's see what Big Daddy Kane has to say. I know some of y'all kind of young, so y'all might not know, but this is a old school rapper from like the 80s. He was like one of the best lyricists. He was like pretty much Nas before Nas. Let's see. The rapper recently went on the art of dialogue to discuss current state of hip hop, and he made it very clear that he is not a fan of, of Drake fans. <laughs> Says Big Daddy Kane was asked if he'd been keeping up with Drake versus Kendrick Lamar, and he said he lost interest. He didn't lay the blame at their feet, but the fan base. In, predict in particular, he was put off by the way Drake fans fact check Lamar's bars. It's not a competitive thing about who spit the better bars. It's a thing about fact checking to see if this person told the truth. Kane noted. If the line is dope and he dissed you, it's dope, man. It's that simple. He body you with what he said. Now, I gotta, I mean, maybe, yeah, back in the day. And that's how beasts were. That's how beasts were back in the day. And no one was going to fact check you because they didn't have the damn internet at their disposal. Especially in Big Daddy Kane's day. If they wanted to learn something, they had to go get an encyclopedia. <laughs> so I mean you want to you want to know who's being the most honest and who's being the realest when they're beefing someone now it's not like how when we had Jay vs. Nas with Ether and TakeOver where they were just pretty much mudslinging and I mean Kendrick and Drake did that too like they both were saying things that are kind of fucked up about each other. So it's not like they're being super honest either. They're being rap niggas for sure. The Soulja Boy joins 50 Cent in trolling Meek Mill with questions about Diddy. Soulja Boy is still going back and forth with um, 21 Savage. DJ Academics warns washed up Meek Mill to hang it up. <laughs> these guys is like straight like mortal enemies it says um so Ax says, can someone tell washed up ass Meek Mill to hang it up? You're making the same mistake you did in 2015, Bozo. Stop tweeting. Go make a track, dummy. Man's mad his career got killed by a singing nigga, a blogging nigga, and because of a lawsuit, he blocked me where they'll stop talking about me. <laughs> As well, I understand what was Meek Mill. Why was Meek Mill talking about him? Oh, okay. He was 
just ranting about some bullshit. I'm not going to get into that. <clears throat> Says Master P vows to bring NBA championship to New Orleans if given coaching job. Childish Gambino continues music comeback by announcing massive world tour. That's dope. We need some more Childish Gambino music. You know, he came through. He did the acting. Atlanta was a dope show. Now it's time to get back on the music. Kanye West says, I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life. What is Kanye talking about? Says, Kanye says he's the happiest he's ever been in his life. This is the happiest I've ever been. The 46-year-old shared, I'm with my wife, my visual director, with Dove, Charnet all year. I've been with loved ones doing it independently ourselves. That's cool. And he had a number one this year with Carnival, so. That's dope. <clears throat> JT says, New Orleans people have the best accents. Do y'all agree? No. Best accents? I don't know. I would think like the best accents aren't anywhere from the United States. Like, I think like foreigners speak better. Like when you hear like an English accent or people from South America speak or people from certain Asian countries speak is interesting. So it seems like today in hip hop, guys, the only thing we got is more Drake and Kendrick Lamar. We got 50 Cent and Soldier Boy versus Meek Mill, 21 Savage. But yeah, ain't much going on. So other than that, oh, NLE Chopper, he sold out of his duck shoes. So congratulations to the young man. So other than that, that's another one with me, Canary Balance. Guys, peace.